Welcome to episode 237 of Clarity Compressed. My name is Paul J. Daly. I'll be your host. And today I'm going to show you my new office. <laughs> Let the good times roll. This is Clarity Compressed. We moved into this building probably five months ago now and quintessential as any parent relationship goes like the parent is the last person to get their stuff in order they want to make sure everyone else is set before they do at least i always want to feel that way <laughs> anyway but it, it's that's the case it happened in this building my office was the last one to get touched um wanted to make sure the building was set so people could work and have what they need we still have some things to brush up on but i finally got my shelving in my office it's been a bomb disaster if you put the camera here like the whole office was like this kind of situation but we got these shelves i ordered them like several months ago and the pandemic everything took a while but um they came in and it's exactly like i wanted it to be um if you're just listening and not watching this episode i'll explain it so basically my office i want it to feel like a retail store so when you walk in i have shelves um where shirts are hanging in various sizes there are two shirts on display the two that i have on display right now is my no crisis can win shirt um that's the the mantra of a sodu automotive state of the union and also one of my new prized possessions, a Philadelphia Eagles jersey that says, a game jersey, it says a SodoCon 22 on the back. Awesome. I also have three pairs of Nikes. I have uh, some Fly Knits, some custom Air Force Ones. I have a pair of Air Maxes uh, that I haven't worn yet. I have the boxes up there and the shoes are here. And it just looks like a little retail display. Like you can come in and shop. And if you're a size 12 and you show up at my office, you might actually end up leaving with a pair of shoes. We'll see if that if we can pull that off. Um, as I come here, it's very similar to what I've had at my other space. Um, I have things that matter to me, and I'm a big believer and a big fan of surrounding yourself with things that have meaning. They don't all necessarily have any monetary value, but they remind me, the reminders of the things I've done, of things and principles I believe in, of the kind of person I want to aspire to be. And so, um, Top level here, I have a lot of books that have been meaningful to me. I mean, I have a whole lot of books, but these books are curated in a way that they're kind of like the top of mind ones for me on a regular basis. And my wife, Sarah, suggests that I display them this way as opposed to typical bookshelf mode. So it actually feels a little bit more like a, like a Barnes and Noble retail display. This one, Small Business for Dummies, I literally started business by reading this book. I was, I'm going to start a business. I should read small business for dummies. It was in an age before you could really like YouTube stuff or Google stuff and get a lot of great information. So went the old book, extreme ownership by Jocko principle. I live by uh, a couple Gary Vaynerchuk books, crush it, jab, 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 right hook, which is really the principle of give, 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 and then ask when it comes to business and marketing. I fully subscribe to that mentality. Shoe dog by Phil Knight. That is just a crazy story of a team that never should have made it that did make it. And by the way, the swoosh, the logo, if you didn't know this, an intern designed the swoosh. At the time, all the designs for sneakers were very angular. Think of ASICs. And she was like, well, what do you think of this? And they were like, I guess we'll go with it because we have a meeting. And they went to all the Japanese shoe reps and they said, well, what is it? And on the spot, Phil Knight made up. He's like, well, it's the sound you make when you run past someone in a race. And they loved it. And there you go. That's where the swoosh comes from. And the team was just a bunch of misfits, which I can really appreciate. Then I have all the hats, right? I have some from Image Auto days. I have a Rim Doctor hat here back on the end. Um, I have my, my prized possession Asoto hat signed by so many of the people in the Asoto community. I got my congruent OG hat sitting there, some Contagious Auto. Next shelf down, I have my favorite album, Switchfoot Hur Hello Hurricane. They made that album when they left their record label, making a little bit of trouble. And they said, they wrote 100 songs for that album. And they said, we're going to pick the 10 that we would be willing to die singing. Very meaningful album, Hello Hurricane by Switchfoot. I have the physical picture of my family. This is my, well, I can't say it's a prized possession, but this is the biggest blessing in my life are these people. So they get to stay on the shelf right there over my right shoulder. Um, got a copy of the book that I wrote, the not for print version. I have uh, a canvas of an NFT that I own. I have some V Friends memorabilia from Gary V's V Friends ecosystem. This one's fun. I have a copy of Good to Great audio version. If you don't remember, you couldn't stream music to your phone. You certainly couldn't do it while you were on the road. And so you used to have to buy books on CD. And this is Jim Collins' Good to Great. It's very well worn, 
This has been listened to many, many times. And uh, maybe one day we'll break it out again. Um, got an Albert Einstein mug. This was a business partner who passed away years ago. Got some Mr. Beast uh, memorabilia up here that was a birthday present from my son, Miles. Uh, have a diversity advocacy award that I won uh, from, I was presented with, I don't say I won it, I was presented uh, from the National Association of Minority Auto Dealers last year. Then I have some extra books. If you ever want a book, come to my office. I like to stock extras because I love to give books away. So I have a few extra copies to give away here. Um, a SodaCon scarf, some Mr. Beast chocolate, Steve Jobs looking over my shoulder in the very inquisitive and maybe a little creepy if he's looking over your shoulder with that face but I like to keep that there. And there's still a lot to be done, as you can see. There's a lot of blank space. I'm just moving in here. A um, Couple more items to mention. This box right here, this yellow box is from a minor league baseball team called the Savannah Bananas. And uh, Jesse Cole is the owner of the team. I've uh, had the privilege of spending a few times uh, sessions with him. He's blowing up everywhere. He's on ESPN. They're touring the country with something they invented called Banana Ball. Again, old industry, right? professional sports, baseball, they're revolutionizing it, putting the fans first or the customers first and crafting the experience around that and bringing in a whole new segment into baseball, minor league baseball, that maybe wouldn't have been in there in the first place. So everything here, here's some spray paint cans that we used to, to rattle can the first boxes for the very first Asodu event, uh, November when the lockdowns happen. And finally, it's the last thing I'm going to show you. I have all of the event badges that I've gathered over the last four or five years, and there's quite a few of them. These represent a lot of, uh, a lot of time investment, a lot of financial investment, and a whole lot of relationships and learning that happen. I'm a big believer of going places. I'm a big believer of meeting people, connecting the dots. And for me, these represent just about every opportunity that has come up in business has been as a result of going and doing things. So I just thought it would be a good week to share this with you. I'm really excited about it, but I do think that in curating these, I don't know, there's probably a hundred items here, maybe not. In curating these hundred items, it really does kind of summarize the work that I try to do every day, the things that I try to share with my community, whether that's um, those of you who have listened to this podcast for a long time, you've definitely seen a lot of evolution, evolutions of it, a lot of interviews with some really notable people, and all of that kind of gets wrapped up into being the same person, doing my best to be the same person at work, and at home. It's tough. It's a challenge. But being real, being vulnerable, being, you know, face forward with my failures, with my inconsistencies, um, with the things I say, but I don't necessarily follow through on all of this, I feel like cultivates an environment of accountability for myself. And really, it's a responsibility to serve the people around me, my family first, and then those closest, and then on and on and on. I consider you a really valuable part of my life. Thanks for being on this trip with me. I hope this inspires you to do a little something of your own, to grab some meaningful things and put them in a place where they remind you on a regular basis of what is important. Thanks for being here. I'll see you next week. We came to fight.